Hello everybody, my name is Ivan and in this video I'll explain an easy and free approach to annotating PDFs on iPad and having them synced to your Mendeley desktop app. Mendeley has recently removed the mobile version of the app, which wasn't that good to be honest anyways, and left many people wondering how they should proceed to read the papers on their tablets and still make use of Mendeley as a reference manager. With this method you don't really need to change much in your workflow. You can use your favorite PDF reading app on iPad as long as it has support for browsing files on your iPad, which should be all of the apps. Uh, I'm using PDF Expert, it's free and great and I totally recommend it. To make this work, you need to go to your Mendeley Desktop Preferences, to the File Organizer tab, tick Organize My Files box and pick a directory you want your PDFs to be saved in. You can pick any directory you like. The trick is to have this directory synced with some kind of cloud service, for example Google Drive, Dropbox or iCloud. I'm saving my files in the documents folder, which is automatically synced via iCloud on all of my Apple devices, including the iPad. Alright, let's see how this works. Let's pick a paper from my Mendeley desktop library. As you can see, the paper has no annotations at the moment. I'll then go to my iPad and find this paper under the Mendeley desktop directory in documents folder. This can be different for you depending on how you organized it. Ok, looks good. Let's do some annotations and see if they'll be synced. PDF export will automatically save the annotated PDF and it will be automatically synced to my Mendeley desktop. Let's go back to my MacBook and open the paper again. Great, it works. So here it is, an easy and free method that will enable you to keep using Mendeley Desktop Reference Manager and continue reading papers in your favorite PDF reader app on iPad. By the way, in this channel I'll talk about little things that make up a PhD, so make sure to check it out if you're in the same boat as me and find the PhD journey to be an open and vast ocean of ups and downs. Cheers!